Hi folks, it's worship time here again, as we like to do it, pure worship. We encourage you to join us and let's just worship the Lord. Jesus said in Luke chapter 19, that if his disciples, you and I, if we don't praise him, then the stone will cry out. No stone is crying out in our place. Amen. Let's praise Amen. the Lord this morning. We will Amen. run to him and give him all the praise. Glory be to God. <laughs>
run to the Lord. Run to Him because He is able. He is able to deliver. He's able to make a way. He's able to keep us in times of trials and times of difficulties. We often don't know what to do. When crisis hit us, the first reaction is for us to panic. When we are faced with uncontrollable circumstances, it may seem like if our faith has grown wings and they begin to fly away. But listen, the Bible says to us that we should draw nigh to God and He will draw nigh to us. James chapter 4 and verse 6. And if we learn to, to read the word of God, if we learn to run into God, we will find help because is a very present help in time of trouble, fear and anxiety and worries. It is the natural reaction that we get into as human beings. But listen, the Bible tells us that if we want to overcome these anxieties and these difficult times and that we find ourselves in, we must run into the Lord. He is our strong tower. He is our refuge. He is our rock. And we can find encouraging news in the word of God to remind us that he is reliable. He is capable. We can count on him to meet us at every need that we have. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31 says, but those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar on high on wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. Amen. Verse 6 of Psalms and well, chapter 6 of uh, the book of Psalms in verse 18 and 19 makes us to know that God has given us both his promises and his oath and these two things are unchangeable because he, it is impossible for God to lie Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Therefore we who have fled to his refuge and fled into his arms we have great confidence that we can hold on we have hope and that hope is in Christ Jesus this hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our soul. It leads us through the curtains into God, the inner sanctuary, into the holies of holies, because in his presence we have joy. In his presence oh my God, there, 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 there is peace forevermore. Friends, hear these words this evening and run to the Lord. Let's do it again. I will run to you. And I will
David, he is a mighty God, or the mighty God, and he's worthy of all praise. He deserves some glory in this place. Wherever you are, lift your hands, sing the songs of Zion, and give him glory. Magnify him in the beauty of holiness.
mighty God. Amen. God bless you. Have yourself a good week. Yes.